Why does a day have 24 hours when there's 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour? Does it really make sense? What it comes from is the ancient Egyptians loved this number 12. And there's lots of different people who think they know why they love this number 12. We don't, we're not quite entirely sure. There's different guesses. One guess I quite like is that there are 12 joints on your four fingers if you don't count the thumb. So if you look at your hands, each finger has three joints. And so if you add it up for one hand, that would be 12. And this, by the way, is called the duodecimal system, when you count in 12s instead of 10s, like we normally do in the metric system. Another reason is that 12 is more divisible than 10. There's 12 months in a year. So there's lots of different reasons why they might have picked 12. What did they do with this number 12? Well, using these shadow clocks, they would divide the bright daylight hours into 10 equal parts. Then they'd add in two twilight hours, one at the beginning of the day, one at the end of the day. And what that would mean is that they'd neatly divided the day up into 12 equal parts. Now, what you're probably thinking is, how do we get from that to 24 hours? And the clock you can see on the right comes from Athens, and that is a 24-hour clock. You can go visit that. It's still standing after 2,000 years. How did we get there? Well, the Egyptians also looked at the night and divided that into 12 parts. And they did that by observing star constellations going regularly over the sky each night. They would call these decans or decans. And what they'd notice is that it was very regular each night, so they could count using the stars what hour of the night it was, again divided into 12, their favourite number. They loved these charts so much, and they loved kind of tracking the night in this way so much. They even inscribed it into some of their tombs. And we can see here a decoration from a tomb, a uh, constellation chart. So that even their dead, even when they were dead, they could still track what time it was, I guess, at night. We can only guess why they wanted to do that. And if you think about it, though, breaking the day down into 12 equal segments, you must be wondering, well, wouldn't that make a day shorter uh, during winter and longer during summer? And you're right, that's what happened. So the hours were unequal for centuries and millennia. One hour at summer would be different to an hour at winter. The only reason we finally ended up with regular hours all the way around the world is because the invention of mechanical clocks and water clocks and things like that which would give us a fixed amount of time for one hour.